What weird flex are you proud of? I can accurately guess the weight of powder down to 0.5 grams when measuring. To clarify since I can already imagine the responses without it, XD spent 3 years in a lab where nearly every single day I had to weigh out precise micrograms grams. After a while with the grams, I was pretty much getting it spot on every time. By the end right every time. Helps a lot now with my cooking roll on the time front. 35 and my socks never came out and paired out of the washing machine. TLDR. I went from criminal heroin addict to physics PhD student I was on felony probation for intent to sell when I put a needle in my arm at 17, and heroin took me by the balls back during the Afghanistan war when heroin was still heroin. Tried to kick after about a month, brother was murdered, dove right back into the spoon for about 3 years. I beat it for good at 20 when I got arrested for felony commercial burglary, cleaned up and went on to get a BS in physics, minor in math made it into a prestigious PhD program and got my master's in physics now, and nearly done with my PhD. Record is expunged and doesn't exist anymore. I can recite the entire periodic table in under a minute. It's my weird flex, but I'm proud of it. Finished Halo 3 on Legendary with gamepad upside down, still a peak of humanity capabilities. I was like 8. I'm completely self-taught in 3D art and have worked in the games industry for about 13 years now. Occasionally have been asked to visit universities to speak in front of game art students, who always ask me what uni I studied at, and I get to tell them I didn't. One of my favorite composers responded to an email I sent him asking for feedback on a cover I did of one of his tracks. It was a lengthy and insightful response, and it really did make the six months of working on it all worthwhile. I won five out of five trivia nights on a cruise I went on with my extended family nearly ten years ago. I abandoned my family team two nights and after my dad refused to put down several of my correct answers because they didn't sound right and started a new two-person team with a near stranger who was getting annoyed that the university friends she was there with weren't taking it seriously enough and we absolutely crushed it for the rest of the cruise. Felt good man. I finished three chapsticks in a row without losing them. I dropped out of college and lied on my resume to get my first job. It's been 8 years since and nobody has batted an eye whenever I change jobs third company now. At this point I'm convinced nobody is gonna bother asking for a degree from someone with 8 years of experience. In another thread I read this and I had to laugh so hard, I can squeeze my butt cheeks so tight it cracks my tailbone like cracking your knuckles. I'm a vacuum tube engineer in fun 24. I was sent to a couple of those super abusive troubled teen programs in Utah when I was younger and have been doing advocacy work against the troubled teen industry for years. My work helped contribute to the closure of the wilderness therapy program that nearly killed me and left me disabled last year. I've never tried meth, cocaine, heroin, or psychedelics. I can puke on demand, don't need to put fingers down throat etc. I can rewind videos to a certain spot perfectly 100 of the time. Like I can just tap the bar on the bottom, and it will be within 5 seconds of where I wanted to go. After 30 years of being a couch potato I started running in my 50s. 11 months later did a half marathon in a decent time for someone half my age. I can read over 10 writing systems. That doesn't mean I know the languages though. Threw a piece of paper clean right into the trash, and from the other corner of the room while the whole class was watching. I once delivered two elephants on a truck 